So this is going to be a new um, training program, mentorship, uh, all geared around pattern development. And all geared around uh, taking the best practices and, and uh, opportunities that the guys have been executing on the floor over the past, uh, you know, the past prior week. And I'm going to be going through almost effectively the, the pattern governance framework of how we uh, tackle on these uh, patterns by really sharing all the best practices that I observe on the trading floor that I see amongst the traders. And also part of the program is uh, we'll be looking at the past week of where I saw people do really well, also where people potentially went on tilt, and bringing your awareness of the opportunity landscape that's happening on the trading floor. We'll be dissecting performance hotspots hot from the previous week and then what I'll do is I'll take one technical play, uh, we'll break it down, uh, we'll be looking at a, a um, almost a protocol of how we break down a pattern and how we kind of cement it into our, on, you know, effectively our unconscious state through, the, pa uh, through the, the way you go about debriefing the pattern. Okay, our pattern uh, recognition protocol training. Importantly, which all of you guys are doing, I, I think everyone's been a, a student recently of uh, Josh Waitzkin's work, uh, the, the power of journaling, the power of written journaling, and um, be a student of your game. Okay, many times, I think I've shared this in the group a while back, many times coaches encourage their players to study and watch the game of soccer by saying, be a student of the game. I'd like you to take it a step further and be a student of your game. You know, and this is why patterns start becoming unique to yourselves. Because you're the one that when you're in that real-time moment, and something I was speaking to Simon about last week, is that you record, you debrief your patterns over and over again. But what's really important is what you then deploy in the real-time moment. Because that real-time moment, are you putting the effective checklist? Are you drawing upon your reservoirs of experience of being in, there's no, you know, no pattern is really completely the same. You know, you can have a pattern setup, but there are quite a few, there are quite a few different permutations within those patterns. So, um, you know, and that's why it's kind of your own, your, your own, uh, your own biological individuality, which is, which is critically important. Okay, and just from that, almost all mistakes, you know, if you break down your mistakes at the end of the day, they effectively have just two components. They're either a, a technical you know, deficiency, just uh, you, know, you, you have blind spots in understanding the market, either from a technical perspective or from a, a fundamental landscape, or there's a mental component. You, know, you go on tilts or your self-talk uh, self uh, hijacks you and, um, and, and you take. So you know, part of your debriefing you know, or part of your structure at the end of the day of, of, of how you analyze yourself should effectively always you know, take those two aspects. And I know Joe did a workshop where he does, on this side, almost like a tilt analytics. You know, at the end of the, each week, so then he can review himself at the end of each week and kind of uh, reduce down the, the error count of that mental, of that mental component. Uh, okay, so the kind of template that we're going to be employing, and this will obviously evolve as time goes by, and, and uh, and I'll just go through this quickly because we'll probably put the practice in place and then I'll, I'll hop onto all of last week, all the opportunity hotspots that people did well in. Uh, and, and, um, and I think I, I, I want to focus on things instead of, occasionally I might focus on where people possibly went tilt on, but I, I want to focus on kind of uh, the best things that people do. Uh, you know, from, from you know, the, uh, whether it's the senior guys or, or any of the junior guys. But just as a quick framework, from a, a real technical perspective of uh, breaking down and we'll be looking at an, uh, an Evernote uh, pattern of, of an oil trade where, where someone made almost on Wednesday almost $200,000 on the trade uh, last week. And, uh, but we're going to be breaking it down just in a, in a stepwise uh, process. But uh, what's your question and analysis framework for pattern recognition? To access all the states of your pattern requires the volume design, okay, the auctioning nature, the movement type of your market and your uh, access execution state. This real time, I think, I think this 
real-time awareness of when you then eventually get into the trade, you know, you, you've spotted something pattern, well, what's your talk during that, that time? Because that's the one that I think is a skill that is the most, you know, is, is the hardest to master. You know, is once you've recognized a pattern and then you're in that trade, well, what's your talk in that moment? Okay, so how are we going to be going about most of the, uh, the pattern analysis is the source of the volume event, Prior, so we're going to look at the prior order flow context of that zone, the prior footprint design, and we're looking at something quite interesting in, uh, in oil last week Wednesday, the nature of the auction, fast and no auction, false and retraceable and the potential after effects, true and strong and the potential after effects of that type of uh, auction, so on the ladder, the way it auctions, the design of the movement. Is it movement without substance? So what I mean by that, if the market is just moving through but nothing's being, uh, you know, being auctioned, you know, that's can sometimes be quite easily retraceable. Uh, is it uh, true and strong and the pentem, sorry, uh, substance that leads to movement? So s substance, you know, a, a wall auction block. Your execution access points, reasoning for execution, your emotional and monkey state, and, uh, and what type of awareness exercises we can deploy so the next time you face with the same situation, you're a lot more effective. Okay, so, the key kind of men uh, the key mentoring focus areas. What we'll always do with, with all of these patterns is uh, is sorry. So this is mainly for the young guys. Your first port of call is a di diagnostic approach where we establish your current trading strategy, approach, and challenges within your framework of performance. From this evaluation point of view, we then build upon the necessary foundation training principles required for trading ad uh, identity. So we'll be looking at the market, uh, market footprint mapping, order flow process identification, macro event strategy and narrative uh, development, and then your trade access framework, your strategy, and I don't want you guys to focus on this now, I'm gonna do this, on, uh, I'm gonna do this in, in the next workshop. And then your strategy recording, development and trade methodology. So this is almost a, step, a stepwise process of how you can go about developing you know, from these six key principles your pattern recognition protocol. And what I just went through there on that debrief is effectively just breaking it down. This is just my own little breakdown. What, what did the market, uh, what was the footprint looking like? What was the order flow like? This order flow for me is so important. The reason why is because that's the real time question I'm gonna be asking in my head. Uh, okay, this is just a, a separate of how you guys develop your macro event strategy and narrative development, which we'll have a workshop with, with WACAS on that. Um, you know, your trade access framework, I think, I think Simon's put something really nice together for, for a couple of guys. I think, uh, Isaac, you have a bit of uh, the t t first two orders of your trade access framework. Uh, he gave it to you about a week ago, but you have a lot of material, so you're probably still trying to figure it out. Um, and then you, what, what I find so powerful is when some of you guys look at your ladders, the recordings at the end of the day, of your key players. You just need to take, you're not looking at your, you're looking at something that you got involved with and you, you want to look at that. Because the memory, what, what, what happens there, but build a routine. And part of this routine as well, you know, when you get, you have to be so efficient. You don't have time in the day. Time in the day is at the screen, getting screen time, asking the questions. And at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you're very efficient in everything and, 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 and purposeful because you know it's the, the, these are these are long days and you also don't want to be ex you don't want to exhaust yourself for the next day. And that's why that's why mapping patterns, not many people do it properly, simply because people are tired at the end of the day. So that's also why you might have a little extra edge over time. Is if you're consistently doing it at the end of it, you know, at the end of each day and you're very efficient at doing it, but when I say efficient, not just doing it for the sake of you've got to do something because you're trying to gain a benefit from it. You're really trying to gain a benefit from it. And uh, you'll see the payoff might only happen for you young guys three, four years down the line. But then the payoff can be, I mean, it can, it can uh, the, the kick of the, of, the, of the jump can be ridiculous. You know, it doesn't, you know, when you see people start performing on these technical plays now, it's, there's been four years of hard work or construction. And, and sometimes you can do hard work for a long time, you don't think you're getting anywhere, but you have to kind of have trust. When you face these patterns, it might just be one little thing that you're not doing right. And that one little thing is that little self-talk in that moment when it's 15 minutes below 
your, your, your main area and it's chopping, but the volume is picking up. As long as the volume in the auctioning is picking up, I should trust my pattern still. And that's one of the things I say, as long as the volume and activity is strong, it's just churning into the footprint, you can see this churning, man, if that takes out that low, then there's going to be the unravel of that micro pattern and the bigger pattern. So you've got to, you've got to plot that down. And then there is, I mean, we're in this for some, you know, serious, you know, we're not here sitting in the middle of city, you know, 14 hour days, not to eventually make ridiculous money, but to make that ridiculous or, or, or be ridiculous in your approach uh, and be purposeful in your trade is a process. And that's why it's really, for me, it's, it's quite, you know, we, uh, it, it's gratifying and I really like to see it when I know uh, everyone uh, works hard, but it's really nice when I see people who've been working hard in their technical game start getting rewarded. Because it's, you know, it's a hard slog. It's a freaking hard slog. You know, and a lot of people who work on the technical game also don't make it in this game. So, uh, so you have to have an efficient process of how you log your patterns. It's all well logging a great Evernote pattern and thing, but you've got to then dissect it at the key areas where you failed. And if you log those key areas or those identification spots, then you'll be a lot more effective. So you must really, you know, if I can reiterate that, really be purposeful. So, um, so again, so we'll, we'll start blogging this portal and it'll be, you know, I will do a once a week. I'll be a lot more timely. It'll, it'll be half an hour to 35 minutes. But because this is the first one, it's uh, taken a little bit longer. But we're gonna be, I want us to be... Yeah. Um, I want you guys to... Um, I want you guys to be very, because we don't have, uh, you know, we have to be so efficient with our time. When we come and we present a pattern and we break it down into those various components, just be efficient. Just, you know, bang, bang, these are the things observe. And I will bring, you know, and I'll ask, I'll, I'll ask if I think someone's executed a good pattern or someone comes to me and they say, Alex, there's a really good uh, setup that I'd like to speak to. And I'll say, I might say, no, I don't want you to speak about it. I might say, yeah. Uh, for me, I always make the, the judgment call if I think it's an ad benefit for the group. Uh, but we'll get the young guys and the experienced guys. I will deliver, I'll deliver you know, once a week looking at the performance hot And I think it's really important for the young guys to pay attention to where money was made over the past week. So you can kind of incorporate that saying, oh, wow, so the guys made money on the BTPs on that open. You know, because the BTPs were tracking the risk off, but they but they were still opening so much higher than they should relative to the Bund. And all these, all these um, little things that I observe on the floor that you guys can employ in your game. Okay, uh, I'm not going to hold any questions because I'm tired. Uh, but um, just take, a, when I put this up on the, on the review, you guys can then go into this a little bit more detail. But it's just a little, a little framework, you know, that I use. Uh, Okay, yeah. You think you could share, or maybe I can write down so from today we can start to align with that structure? Yeah, yeah. You, you, you know, the most, the most important aspect to this is, is, you know, what did the footprint look like? Order flow is your, your translation of the order flow, okay? Uh, this is not, uh, this, is, this is for like when a macro event is unraveling. So this is separate from technical. So if you ignore that, then what is your trade access framework? What do you have to see in relation to what does the order flow look like? What does the market footprint mapping look like? Uh, importantly, although I've you know, put this, I want you guys to really build it. You, know, you have a pattern, you have a play, and, uh, and what does that look like technically? What does it look like from price ladder interaction? What does that look like on, on the, the footprint? And, uh, and technically, like uh, profile and candlesticks. You know, and then, and then that real-time unraveling. That real-time unraveling, like, you know, when, when I hear Harry in an, in an oil trade and he's, oh, his process at the end of the day, Harry, should be, at the end of the day, what was I telling myself in those moments? Because if you can identify what you're telling yourself in those moments, you become more aware the next time you're in that moment. You know, so you can ask yourself the right questions. If you find this video interesting, if you want to go deep into the Axia training method and how our trading team of seven-figure traders develop setups and strategies 
and how they learn to build the most profitable trades across all market environments, then join me in this workshop. Now in this workshop, you're going to learn three powerful steps we use to train all our traders on both our London and our Poland trading desks to help build incredible levels of consistency. How to predictably understand which setups work and which don't. You're going to learn our two main strategies for how we perfect our trade timing before we enter every single trade. You're going to learn the VEL concept, which is our one and only technique we use to leverage our largest trades. You'll also learn how to avoid trading setups that don't work, how to avoid those large losses, and our main method we use to identify them that saves our traders significant amounts of capital. Finally, you will learn how our traders use the power of network learning to find market patterns quicker than ever before, so you shortcut that learning curve. In the workshop, we want to program your awareness of elite performance, to program your ability to choose the right setups, and program your ability to be a consistent trader. So the trades that you execute become more simple and clearer. And I can tell you this, you'll never see the markets the same again. You'll never look at the markets with a narrow view of getting lost in all the noise and confusion. You'll take your first step towards a deep edge market awareness. I cannot wait for you to join me in this workshop. And I think you're in for a massive paradigm shift in your understanding of how to develop as a trader. So join me by clicking on the top right hand corner of the screen and sign up for this powerful training workshop or visit EliteTraderWorkshop.com.